Hey, welcome to this topic of measurement system analysis or MSA. MSA. MSA is measurement system analysis. But before we talk about measurement system analysis, we need to talk about measurement system. And even before we talk about measurement system, let's understand some basic things. When we say Six Sigma implementation, we have data-driven approach. Data-driven approach means that we don't take decisions based on gut feeling. We take decisions based on measurements, based on facts, based on data. So you collect some information in the form of data and then you make decision based on that. So to collect that data, you need to have some measurement system. Example could be, let's say you are making a rod or maybe a cable or something. The diameter of that is controlled one. So you check the diameter, you take measurement of that diameter and then you try to control that. This could, could be some sort of a physical measurement. This measurement could be time, how much time it takes for you to attend to one telephone call, one customer complaint call. That's another measurement. Measurement could be visual as well like looking at a surface and deciding the surface roughness, whether the surface is smooth or rough based on human judgment. That could be another measurement. Measurement could be putting a number of 1 to 5 at the end of training, giving the ranking to the training. That could be another measurement. So there are vast number of measurements being taken in industry in your workplace. This is what measurement system analysis is all about. What it wants here is that when you take measurement, that measurement should be correct. The correct information should be coming out as a result of measurement. The measurement system consists of these four parts generally. It has a measurement device or a gauge, gauge which you use to measure something. This gauge could be a scale, a vernier caliper, a micrometer or a stopwatch, anything could be a measurement device or a gauge. Then in measurement system, you have measurement procedures. So the procedure will tell you how to take that measurement, how to record that, all that information is available in the measurement procedure. Then comes the operator. Operator is the one who is actually taking the measurement because this operator can influence the measurement. So the operator is also part of measurement system and the operator training, how much trained this operator is. So when you take a measurement, you record that on some sort of a form. So all these things together make a measurement system. Now coming to measurement system analysis, just to give you a little bit more background to that. Suppose we take example of this cable and the cable diameter is something which you want to control and based on that you want to make a decision. So you take a number of readings of this diameter and based on that you draw a histogram and with the histogram you find out that this follows a normal distribution. And you would see that okay normal distribution has a mean of this and this has a three standard deviation on both sides. So this is where most of your readings are going to fall into. And based on that, you conclude that how your manufacturing is ongoing. But now comes problem because of measurement. This whole thing is with the assumption that your measurement system is perfect. But then there is some variability. There is some shift because of the measurement, because of the operator, because of the procedure as well, which could influence this. So probably your variation was not this much. Probably this was your actual process. And this additional variation has come because of the measurement system because measurement system also has added some variation to the final reading or the final data which you have collected. This is what we are going to talk about in this session which is measurement system analysis or MSA. 
So let's move forward and look at few basic definitions and then slowly we will go into more details of that. And at the end, we will use Minitab software for measurement system analysis. Let's go step by step, understand some basic definitions first and then we will go further. Thank you.